Hi, welcome to Infimax. In this video, we're going to talk about logic quantifiers, which include existential quantifier and universal quantifier. Now, before we continue, please subscribe, click the bell, like, share, and put your nice comments below. Existential quantifier. Let PX stand for X is an even number. Now for this, we cannot say it is true or not. So it is an open statement. It is a predicate. If X is 2, then PX, which equals to P2, that is 2, is an even number. And of course, this is true. If x is 3, then px is p3, which equals to 3 is an even number. And of course, this is false. And so therefore, for some x, px is true. That is, for some x, px is a proposition. We use this notation, flip e, x, px, and that stands for, for some x, px, for at least one x, px, there is x, px, there are x, px, and there exists x, px. Universal quantifier. Let px stand for x times 1 equals to x. This is a predicate. If x is 2, then px, which equals to p2, and that is 2 times 1 is 2, and of course this is true. If x is 3, then px, which equals to p3, and that is 3 times 1 equals to 3, and of course this is true. So the fact is, for all x, x times 1 equal to x. So that is true. And therefore, for all x, px is a proposition. We're going to use the symbol upside down a, x, px. And we read this as, for all x, px, for every x, px, for each x, px. Negations of quantifiers. The negation of some students in the logic class are girls is no students in the logic class are girls or all students in the logic class are not girls. Now let S be the set of students in the logic class. And PX stands for X is a girl. So the sentence, some students in the logic class are girls, is represented by the symbol flip E, X element of S, PX. Its negation is, no students in the logic class are girls, which can be represented by not flip e x element of s px its negation is also all students in the logic class are not girls which can be represented by the symbol flip a x element of s not px notice the differences of those two negations the first one we have like this and the second one we have like this. The negation of all students in the logic class are girls is not all students in the logic class are girls, but also some students in the logic class are not girls. Now let S is the set of students in the logic class. 
NPX stands for X is a girl. The sentence all students in the logic class are girls. Symbol upside down A. X element of S. PX. Its negation is not all students in the logic class are girls. Can be now represented by not. Symbol upside down A. X element of S. PX. Its negation is also some students in the logic class are not girls. And this can be represented by the symbol flip E, X element of S, not PX. Notice the differences of those two negations. Here are some relations of the quantifiers. For all X element of S, PX is equivalent to not for some x element of s, not px. For all s element of x, not px is equivalent to not for some x element of s, px. Not for all x element of s, px is equivalent to for some x element of s, not px. Not for all x element of s, not px, is equivalent to for some x element of s, px. For some x element of s, px, is equivalent to not for all x element of s, not px. For some x element of s, not px, is equivalent to not for all x element of s px not for some x element of s px is equivalent to for all x element of s not px not for some x element of s not px is equivalent to for all x element of s px deduction using flex for quantifiers we introduce the pointed flag with pole. We usually put this kind of expression in the pointed flag. And we can copy the expression in the flag to its scope. Introduction of universal quantifier. And we're going to use this notation in the reasoning. If we have a pointed flag with pole and expression x, element of s in the flag and we have px under the flag then we can have for all x element of s px under the pole elimination of universal quantifier and we're going to use this notation in the reasoning if you have under a rectangular flag or a pointed flag for all x element of s px and we have y element of s, then we can conclude py. So you see we have a variable x here, and we have a variable y here. So they can be different or can be the same. Introduction of existential quantifier. And we're going to use this notation for reasoning. If we have under a rectangular flag or a pointed flag, x element of s and px then we have for some x element of s px alternative introduction of existential quantifier and we're going to use this notation in star and the flip e if we have for all x element of s not px in the flag and we have false under the flag, then we conclude for some x element of S, Px under the pole. Elimination of extensional quantifier. And we're going to use this notation for the reason. If we have under a rectangular flag or a pointed flag, for some x element of S, Px, and also we have for all x element of s 
not px, then we conclude false. Alternative elimination of extensial quantifier. We're going to use the notation EL star flip E. If we have under a rectangular flag or under a pointed flag, for some x element of S, Px, and we also have for all x element of S, Px implies Q, then we can conclude Q.